back with another video, you know, I'm here, 777, hope all is well, stay out of the way, safe, focus and balance, make sure you like, share, and subscribe, I appreciate all the little support, the title of the video is going to be about energy vampires, that is the title of the video, the reason they call it that is because it is similar to vampires, because there is some drainage taking place. This is why they call it that. Anyone can be an energy vampire, including yourself. This could be something you are doing consciously or unconsciously. We exist as energy-based beings. This is what we are at the core. The body is equivalent to a battery because it needs to be constantly recharged. This is why you do stuff like sleep. It recharges the body. The reason they call it spiritual currency is because it is just like actual money but it's spiritual this is why you have self worth true value right? that's why it's named that this is connected to your soul so you could be rich in spirit Whenever you begin to pay attention to stuff, this is why they say pay attention, right? But whenever you do this, you begin to spend spiritual currency. So it could get to the point to where you will go broke. Let's say you start talking to somebody. Let's say you start watching TV. Let's say you watch a movie. Let's say you watch a video. Let's say you read a book. You spend spiritual currency, right? You ever got finished and done reading a book and all of a sudden you become tired, right? It is because you are spending spiritual currency. Dealing with energy vampires, most of the time, you are a target. And they want to be on your energy. So once they begin to do this, what will happen is, they will end up stealing your energy. This could help them gain more power, help them survive, and they keep moving forward, leaving you with nothing or little at all. A lot of the times, what they'll do is they'll keep coming back for more and continue to feed on your light, all right? So once you pick up on this, you can actually stop it. But if you don't, they'll just keep doing it. So let's say you talking to them in person or you having a conversation over the phone and it's an energy vampire. The longer you stick around, what is going to happen is eventually you will start to lose spiritual currency, right? Once this takes place, you will show physical symptoms. You will feel tired, drained, lazy, 
you won't feel like doing anything. You'll feel like sleeping, right? This is the signs that you are dealing with an energy vampire. So what you need to do is cut the conversation short or don't talk to them at all. This would be a way for you to keep your spiritual currency for yourself. But this Enoch 777, peace, I'm out.